Well, if you watched a couple of the videos back, my drift BMW right here actually broke on me. I believe it might be the slave cylinder or some sort of line because the clutch pedal is stuck to the floor in this thing right now. Also, there's just some stuff that just needs to be gone over and fixed. Got some parts coming in for this thing here in a few days. I'm just going to try to diagnose it tonight. Also, we might finish up pulling the motor in the 240SX. So let's go ahead, toss this sucker in the garage and get started. Oh, I see the... Uh... I should have gone. Do it again. Well, the clear coat on the Beamer is officially leaving us. You can see over here, it's been sitting out for a few days and it's just, yep, that's it. It's peeling up. Thinking about painting the car sometime. Let me know what you guys think as far as color I should go with. If you're new to the channel, this is my seat time drift car while I build the S14 to be a little bit more higher horsepower and a little bit more competitive. That door's broken over here. We need to, uh, maybe when I repaint it, I will get another door because for one, the handle's broken. Now it doesn't open because it locks randomly. Good news. Let's dive underneath. All right, so we're under the car and we found the issue. Go ahead, Jordan. That is the problem. That is the line running up to the slave cylinder and it is cracked. I'm gonna go ahead and call O'Reilly to see if they have one of those so I can easily replace those. So we can go ahead and get this car back up and running and ready for the drift event here in two weeks. I'm making the decision not to procrastinate this time because I usually wait to the last day and that's no bueno. Yeah, I noticed one thing about my angle kit here. When we hit full lock, if you can see, if you can see right there, that little gash in the lower control arm, when it hits full lock, that actually rubs under pressure, like under weight. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Probably get some sort of spacer or a different offset wheel someday, but I'm probably just gonna leave it for now. Ooh, look at that angle. Look at that angle, boys. Dang, eBay. So it's currently a couple days later, ended up getting the line out. Now it wasn't this broken, there is a crack in it though. And I actually have to order this in, it'll get here in a couple days. What we're gonna do for the rest of this video is I have a brand new M3 style front bumper that I got off of eBay. Paid $125 for the bumper and along with the fog lights that came with it, these are the yellow ones. So I'm gonna go ahead, run to Walmart, grab some paint so we can paint this bumper tonight and also throw these in. Hopefully get it on the car and all wired up and looking good tonight. Also, while the paint's drying, Got these things in too. These are $60 off eBay. eBay sells some pretty high quality stuff for E36s for what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and also install these in the back of the Drift BMW. You guys should get it clear. Yeah. Well, that's what I did. That's what I did with the side skirts. I got this and I got the, the gloss clear. Not the clear. The matte finish. We just got back from Walmart, picked up the paint. The Rust-Oleum white actually matches pretty well with the BMW white paint. I went ahead and took off all the little trim pieces that go along here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the first coat of the white, and while it dries, we're gonna go ahead and do the taillight install. All right, so as that first coat dries, we're gonna go ahead and install the new taillights I got for the E36. These are the ones that have the white all the way along the top. My red BMW back there has the, the smoked out taillights in the back, so I thought it'd be cool to kind of go with the white. For the white car, just kind of give it a nice little look for it. This one's not bad. This one has a bit of a little, something's leaking in it and it's all sorts of messed up. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these out and replace them. There are four nuts that are held on. Two are here, two are here. So go ahead, pop your trunk. If you have those little covers, go ahead and unscrew it, pull off the plastic black cover. Undo those four nuts, should be able to pull out and go ahead and disconnect the plug. Oh, <laughs> that's, not, that's not right, that's not good. So now you're gonna wanna go ahead, take out all your bulbs, make sure you know where they go. So this is, I don't even know what this is. Make sure you know where they go. Go ahead and mark them, twist them, pull them out, and go ahead and put them in your new one. I'm actually missing, missing a couple. It's a drift car, it's a drift car. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of degreaser and spray down this entire area because this has obviously never been cleaned. Just try to clean it up before we throw on the fresh tail lights. When you're installing, make sure that this rubber little trim waterproofing stays where it needs to be. Sometimes on these taillights, it will come out, which is not good. Well, the battery's dead, so we're gonna have to get another shot of these some other day, but here's what they look like afterwards. They came out really nice. I'm actually very pleased with them. They kind of make the rest of the car as far as like the clear coat peeling, stuff like that, it makes it look kind of poor, but looks good for sure, happy with it. So last drift event, my badge actually fell off in the front, so I have a new one here. 
Got off eBay, I think it was like eight or nine bucks. It's actually that little carbon fiber one. It's black and white, it's mainly what I wanted. The backing plates stayed in. I'm gonna go ahead, use the adhesive along with a little bit of RTV. Just kind of put it on the back and place it on here. And hopefully this time it won't fall off. That should work. It's not bad. Not bad for spray paint. So we let the bumper dry overnight, came back, put the trim on, put the lip on, and got this little back grill in here as well. All we did for this bottom lip, we ended up marking and drilling holes and zip tying it on the bottom. And this grill, we were kind of confused on how to mount it, so we ended up just duct taping it, gorilla taping it on the back. Seems to hold for right now, we'll see how long it holds. But now we're gonna go ahead and toss in these fog lights the bumper came with. Now these things are really over complicated in my opinion. So I just finished this one side of the bumper and I didn't do this quite exactly how you do it if you have like an OEM bumper but if you do have the M3 bumper and it comes with these lights. So on this side the light will sit like that and there is a back little bracket to these lights so what you're going to want to do is gently push that back, take it off and that's exactly how it sits. So this little peg here, in the OEM bumpers there's a little hole in the side of the bumper where it slides in and these two holes here are the screw holes that bolt up here. However, this aftermarket does not have that. There's two holes here, one for this little little peg and one for this hole here. So what I, what I did was, and also this top hole lines up kind of here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I threw it behind here like that. So that's how I have it. So this top hole lines up right here, that peg's there and the, hole, the bottom hole lines up right there. So what I did was I ran a zip tie here, and a zip tie in this bottom, and I also ran a zip tie for this other side, tied down through this top hole, around the peg, and back through this hole. So pretty much it's just cinching this little peg up against the bumper. It's not perfect, but for the drift application that I'm using it for, it's going to do just fine. I just finished putting the bumper on. All I did for this car was I put a couple zip ties in the side, I drilled a hole, on both sides and also underneath right here I put two zip ties here there's a spot for four clips on the OEM but I just went ahead and put two I'll probably take the bumper on and off and stuff as I build the car but the fogs went in pretty pretty good I'm not gonna wire them up today I think I'm just gonna leave them unwired because how often I take off the bumper and also it is a drift car and it's kind of just for style and look that it's in here I'm not probably ever gonna use them so we got the badge on we got the new tail lights and we got the fresh bumper I also have the new grills come in because I actually actually lost one one event. So I got the new grills coming in, but that's gonna wrap up for this video on modifications you can do to your E36 that are really cheap to get off eBay. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it or if it helped you out at all, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the build we got going on. We got the E36, 2 gs 14 a whole bunch of others coming. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Freaking me out!